Everybody, welcome back to Medieval 2. As we left off, we've destroyed elephant pots for some reason. Apparently, we're not done. But these ones seem to have some sort of bulletproof casing. for me. Obviously, I could have tried a lot harder not to get hit. A minuscule amount of effort. But, you know, fuck it. Oops. Oh shit. Oh shit. I say state before this. I'll have to kill that thing again, but that's fine. Then I have to do the whole level over. That should have hit him. Thank you. 
There we go. And significantly less damage this time. Unless that was... Is that the way I was supposed to leave? Alright. Right. Just do something incredibly stupid. Naomi, stop it! Leave the mouse alone. Go play with yours. Ugh, that cat. Yeah, yeah, I went the right way. I didn't need to do that over. But I'm glad that I did, because I've got a lot more health than I did before. <sighs> Almost enough to fill that back up. I don't think it's quite full. That can be easily remedied. New toy. <laughs> Lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. I feel like that is not quite as good as a pistol. Unless the bolts are special. Damn your back! Fantastic! Loads to tell you. Oh, yes, I have oh. what you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Oh. The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the Magician's Circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young... This lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading. 91st? You, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offense. You were the one who freed me from my eternal prison, great one. I don't like the fact that we can understand. I am forever Dan. in your debt. Right, introductions it's over. It's just supposed to be. Winston's done some reconnaissance. He says he saw something weird going on at the observatory. If Palethorn was behind it, he must be stopped. Again, huh? lost your head, Dane. Swim between head and body using L one plus triangle. If you find your head, L one plus triangle will put it back on. Oh, they're, so they're sailors. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's how it's going to be, is it? I've looked around. There's something going on in the observatory, but the entrance is barred. Perhaps you can find another way of getting in. Go and see what's across the river. I'm a little more interested in getting my head back, thank you. There we go. Back in the saddle again. After having to uh, replay up to here because of a certain cat messing things up, I wonder which one that could have been. It's the only one I have. over. Not like that. Oh, hey there.
This is what all true warriors strive for. See if you can use your head to solve this puzzle. It should work like any other item in your inventory. I'm not sure what good my head did. Dear. Slitter. You're not fooling me, because I can see the way you shake and shiver. idea what I was saying. Just could not piece together where that was from. There is something wrong with you and you should feel bad about yourself. Those are just the rules. Hmm. 
There are some things that are inexcusable. Not knowing those lyrics is one of them. Two is inexcusable. Far more excusable than not knowing those lyrics. There we go. Can't see a damn thing. Piss poor camera angles. Played the original, you can do better. Chalice. So this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. Well, thanks for watching out for me, Winston. Blimey. Well, his last name is like Church Hull or something like that. You? All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I mean, if that's what you would do if you was me, then...
one, damn it. what I'm looking for. make that noise at me again. That shouldn't be a problem. If we could get the fire going, we might be able to use the balloon. Well, I want to check what's down here. Manda, is it ready? Yes, Master. At the press of a button, the great scope will find all the pages of the spell book. Good. Start the machine. Start the machine. Yes, soon. Soon. I broke it. I won't be mine. What the devil? No! What have we got here? Meddlesome fool. Do you know what you've ruined? Manda, deal with this wretch. Time to break some bones, dogman. Bones, bones, bones. Shut up. Oh. 
Well, that was fun. We should really do it again sometime. No. Oh, nice. Take this weapon. It's better than it looks, I Very can tell you. Very nice. Looks like something I can throw. And it comes back to me. Which makes it perfect. Fortescue, well done, my friend. You thwarted Palethorn. Winston tells me about his fiendish scheme, and it's our first piece of good news. If he hasn't got all the pages of the spellbook, then he hasn't got full control of the undead. If we can get to them before he does, then we just might stand a chance of defeating Let's him. Let's back here. Sorry, no time for chat. If you're ready, let's get this show on the road. Nice tales of the Pharaoh. Let's check out consorts. The view has gotten goddesses of Pharaoh's life was often a short and arduous affair. Many such as Ramses II would take a number of mistresses as well as a wife. And all the women happy could prove it such an arduous task that many were driven to an early grave. A royal mistress could be, be plucked from any level of Egyptian society. If a slave girl caught her to Pharaoh's eye, she could quickly be elevated to the royal court. This was a fate not without complications, however. Due to Pharaoh's intense interest in mummification, many of their deathbreds took their mistress. Many on their deathbed took their messages with them to ease their existence in the afterlife. Many of the contract tombs exist, the grace of which has been rebuilt brick by brick in the Great Museum. This is the tomb of Abu Simbel. It contains the mortal remains of Princess Kia, Ramsay's second last mistress. The parchment of the time revealed that the king died before the relationship was consummated. One can only imagine her feelings as the joy at being plucked from abject poverty was replaced by the misery of playing nursemaid to a randy eight-year-old and how the joy of his death must have been replaced with the misery of following him to the grave. Oh, sorry, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> anyway, call a video here. I'm the Blister 32. This is uh, Medieval 2. TTFN, ta-ta for now.